Did you know that Google's Googliness and Leadership interview is probably the most underestimated interview of them all? Well, you're not alone. In the second episode of our three-part series, we're decoding a way to really practice for the Googliness and Leadership interview to help you have great success. So get your notes ready. We're going to serve up some actionable strategies, some real-life examples with the help of our bestie, ChatGPT. Stick around because we're going to supercharge your prep with a real job description and a real resume. Okay, we only really need three items as we discovered or uncovered in last week's video. So we have Bob Smith's resume. Of course, this has all been scrapped out. This is a real resume. So if we scroll through it, real jobs, everything's real. We just cut out some of the companies, some of the information just to keep it confidential. Then we come over here and we see we're going to be looking at a technical account manager role, Google Cloud Consulting. This is a very common type of job description. Again, we have all, the whole job description right here. And then we're going to come over to our trusty, helpful friend, ChatGPT. So let's stay here. What are we trying to identify right off the bat? Well, it's a leadership and Googliness interview. So we're going to start off by just separating that out a little bit. And so I've simply asked ChatGPT to help me identify the most important leadership qualities from the job description. So we paste the job description in here. And then this is what it comes up with. And this is amazing. So it's really what it's doing is it's doing two things. It's categorizing it and then it's giving a further description. And what we're really going to be looking for here is understanding, okay, how would I look at these items based on the job description and help them to lead and guide me when answering questions? So we're going to be looking at things like technical expertise, but then understanding it from IT operations, capability to translate business requirements. Then, of course, this is a customer centric role. So we're going to be thinking about leadership from driving successful adoption of GCP etc cetera, etc cetera. and i'm just going to scroll through this pretty slowly just so if you do want to pause you can pause but these are the high level leadership items that chat gpt is pulling out of the job description so we just start here with these items and again i'm scrolling slowly in case you want to pause or write them down so once we get there i say okay awesome now let's try this from a googliness perspective and then i actually define for ChatGPT, what Googliness um, encompasses, encapsulates, however we want to define it. And so I threw in all these items like positive, friendly, team player, transparent, lifelong learner. These are all the cultural items that are going to be critical to have success in this interview. Then what a great job ChatGPT does again, no surprise. What it starts to do is it starts to couple the attributes together. So technical expertise and lifelong learner. So now it's kind of trying to dive in and say, hey, beyond understanding the technical aspects, understanding the ideal candidate, um, continually seeking to expand their knowledge. So this is just a start. And then again, of course, customer centric, but it's saying, hey, customer centric, we're going to be looking at respectful, caring and helpful. Focusing in on the customer involves more than just meeting about their needs. It's about respecting them, caring for their challenges. This is giving us such a great overview in correlation with the TAM role, and it's connecting the leadership skills to the Googliness skills. This is my first time trying this exercise in ChatGPT, but it's grouping them together for ease, and that's going to make your prep so much easier. So, of course, again, I'm just scrolling. I don't want to just read verbatim, but these are really, really good items, and just good consistent themes to be thinking about for any role. And of course, I want you to go through this exercise for whatever role you're interviewing for. And I'll go ahead and add these prompts into the YouTube description as well. So now we pivot a little bit. I say that's great, but we've uncovered these critical qualities from a leadership and Googliness perspective. But now we want to add decision making. And the reason why is that the Googliness and leadership interview, whether it's behavioral or hypothetical questions, and yes, they absolutely ask hypothetical questions in a GNL interview, 
we want to weave decision making into this. So now we just start with something really basic. We're informed decision making and we're bringing the technical expertise. We're bringing in decision making as it pertains to customer centric items. And then again, it's just following the path of communication, strategic and long term thinking, collaborative decision making, etc. It's starting to get your brain attached in your prep to what is going to be focused in on in this specific GNL interview. And then it kind of it breaks it down in the top 10 and then it starts to bring in the other components. So those are the leadership components. Then we start to talk about emotional intelligence, often referred to as EQ, fast and thoughtful decisions and openness to reevaluate. It's starting to couple the concepts together, which again will also be really valuable for your prep. Now, I add in the additional layer. Now we add in Bob Smith's resume and we want to figure out Bob Smith and in this case ourselves, how our resume correlates with those items. So let's dive into that. We've, we've pasted in this great job description. And so now what it's looking at is it's saying, okay, these are the leadership items. Again, this is getting repetitive. This is good. Repetition is good as a part of your prep. You'll notice that I get very repetitive. I want to get these concepts in your mind. And so now it's kind of saying, okay, well, you have technical expertise. Well, you've worked in various IT roles with cloud solutions and their implementation. I've done strategic thinking, thinking I'm Bob as a technical product owner and senior business analyst. And it still, it works through all these leadership items that it sees and it finds specifically six. And then the Googliness perspective, it's calling out five specific items. And then in the decision making, we have four more items. So again, we're starting to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. And I know I'm not going to dive in and speak through all of this. I really want to give you the opportunity to pause and look through what it's saying, just so the video is not super long. But these are all really, really important items. And then ChatGPT also adds in a few other items that might be of value to Bob when Bob's prepping for the GNL interview, specifically looking at a TAM roll. So a couple of last steps that I wanted to take. I want ChatGPT now, we have all this information. Now I want to maybe start to practice on this information. So I simply asked ChatGPT, hey, can you create 10 hypothetical and 10 behavioral questions for me? And it starts to create these great questions. I mean, this first one's perfect. You discover a key component of a client's proposed cloud solution is not feasible due to a recent change in Google Cloud's policy. How would you address this with the client? These are definitely the types of questions that you are going to encounter and just want to prepare for. These are very specific. The GNL interview tends to be a little bit more generic, but it's just going to get your mind going. And so again, 10 really great practice questions here. These would absolutely be applicable for the other interviews. And then they created some behavioral questions as well. So now the last step we take, and we're going to tap into the hypothetical item as well. But the last step we take is we say, Okay, well, you look at my background in correlation with all these items, these questions, what do you think would be the best examples to be highlighting for my career? So it's literally going back into Bob's resume and pulling out the examples that we should highlight from a leadership, googliness and decision making perspective. And it's pulling out very specific examples. This is doing all the work for you. And the whole goal here is just to save you time. So seven great examples being pulled from Bob's resume. You're going to have a similar experience when you go through this exercise on your own. Now, on the hypothetical side, we would really want to spend a lot of time diving into what are some of the core concepts, some clarifying questions, etc. So I didn't do that for the purpose of this video, but I want to scroll back up for a second to the top. As you start to think about, okay, well, what would need to be clarified? And I'm going to scroll all the way up here. So we get to the top and it's like, okay, well, what are the items that I might be trying to clarify? 
as I'm getting into these hypothetical questions, I might want to understand the technical setup, a little bit more about the customer. Have I communicated with them in the past? Have we talked about strategic planning? What's the timeline of that strategic planning? And et cetera, et cetera. Now, all those questions we'd want to be closed. We'd want to close them, present either or yes or no options. And then as we get into some of these other parts, we can be thinking about the framework. Well, the framework might really be focused in on technical expertise, customers, communication, strategy, project management. So now we actually have some pre-planned frameworks that we can move forward with. And then from an assumptions perspective, this is actually where we can dive into the decision making. We can pre-plan some assumptions of what we're likely to face in a TAM role, maybe using some technical knowledge in a specific area of the cloud that might be relevant to us. We could absolutely pre-plan assumptions of some customer-centric decision-making, especially challenges they face, etc. There are just endless ways to use this very limited amount of data to help you absolutely crush the GNL interview. And that's it. We tackled how to look at the Googliness and leadership interview from a leadership, Googliness and decision-making perspective by focusing in on the TAM role specifically. With Bob's resume as our guide, we were able to make it more specific to him and how he might have success in this type of interview. We are just scratching the surface with this prep but it should be a really good starting point for you. And are you curious about the RRK interview? Don't worry, we'll cover that in part three next week.